What's up, guys? LQ here to talk about the season finale of Titans season two. And this season, I've talked about it already. This season started out really great. It started out great. And then they had a battle with Deathstroke in the building. Jason Todd gets dropped off the building. He gets rescued by Connor. And then at that point, the Titans split up. And from that point on, the season just got really subpar, actually. I mean, just not very good. And I've kind of been complaining about it in my reviews, just how kind of subpar Titans has been since that Deathstroke fight. But in this episode, it all changed. I love the season finale. I loved it. They all came back together. They had a fight against Deathstroke, which was beautiful. It was wonderful. I love the battle against Deathstroke. Um, Rose came back as Ravager, and they had it. She joined Dick in the fight against Deathstroke. So it was it was Dick and Ravager versus Deathstroke. And by the way, Dick is now Nightwing. He has the costume. He took on the persona. It is Nightwing now. So we have Nightwing. We've got Ravager taking on Deathstroke, and and um. I won't spoil how that ends, but it 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 ends um it ends pretty uh, with a pretty finite ending, or is it? It is a comic book show, um, but uh, then we get the resolution. It's Connor and Gar versus the rest of Titans because they've been brainwashed by Cadmus. Um, so first you got Gar. He goes into tiger mode. Why can't he turn into other animals? Come on. This is this is Beast Boy. He can turn into any animal. But you got Gar in Beast Mode. He's out, he's at this uh fair or carnival terrorizing people. And uh and then uh, Mercy Graves brings in Connor to stop him. And uh Connor beats up on the tiger a little bit, and then we got this moment between um Raven and and Gar in Tiger Mode that just kind of reeked of the Matrix 3 a little bit. Um, um, now, Gar wasn't dying like like uh, uh, Trinity was in the Matrix. Or was it Matrix 2? Might have been the end of Matrix 2 when Trinity died. I think it was the end of Matrix 2. But it just felt very, I love you. Come back. It, it, I had So that was a little corny. That was a little corny to me. But uh, they, they were able to bring Gar back. And then they they all take on Connor, and uh, there was a moment where um, um, Jericho got really involved in it, um, and uh, not Jericho, Raven, Raven got involved in it and kind of transported Nightwing's essence um, into um, Connor's head. And there was a nice moment there that I thought was pretty well acted, that was kind of interesting. And they're able to kind of talk Connor into coming back. Um, there is a death. One of the Titans die at the end, saving another Titan. Um, and uh, I don't know how I feel about the death. We already had Aqualad die in this season, so I don't know quite how I feel about this death. But... I don't know how finite this one is either. So we'll just see how it all plays out. But uh, there was a death that that I, I heard spoilers that the Titan would die. I didn't know who. And when it happened, I was a little shocked that that's who it was. Um, but we had a death. And then at the end, the Titans are together. And that was really nice seeing them all finally come together as a group, going back to the Titans Tower, having dinner. Bruce Wayne is there at the dinner. And it was a really nice moment where they're all kind of figuring out what's next for the Titans. And then there's a nice shot at the end of them going into um, into a rescue situation where all the Titans are together in costume. And it's like the Titans are back. They're together. Boom, let's do this. Um and then you got the after credit scene. I, I don't mind sharing that because it's been projected all season long. In the after credit scene, we get Blackfire. And Blackfire is here now a a on Earth, and she's going to be after the Titans. It was supposed to be this big end credit scene that gets us pumped up about season three, much, of, much in the same vein that seeing Connor at the end of season one got us really hyped and really excited. But this did nothing for me. Because I think that the Starfire storyline in this episode or in this season was one of the most uninteresting components of this season. I, I just wasn't interested in the Starfire storyline or the Blackfire storyline. 
And it looks like she's going to be Blackfire is going to be the main antagonist in, in season three. So hopefully they find a way to make Blackfire interesting, make her menacing. Cause right now I'm just like, this was supposed to be a big moment for a post credit scene. And it didn't do anything for me. I am looking forward to season three. I liked season two. I liked it a lot, actually. I don't know if I like season one or season two better, but I liked it. I like season two quite a bit. So I'm excited about season three. I just, I'm not excited about the antagonist. So that's kind of where I'm at on it. But I love this finale. This finale was way better than the finale for the season one. Season one just ended. It just ended. And we had to wait until the first episode of season two to get any kind of conclusion, any kind of resolution with the Trigon storyline. And this one, we at least got resolution in the Deathstroke storyline. And we got resolution with the uh, Project Cadmus storyline. And that was nice. It was nice to have that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to season three. But hopefully they can make Blackfire interesting. But that's where I'm at on Titan season two. I thought it was really good. And uh, I'm looking forward to three. What did you think of Titan season two? What did you think of the finale? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on it. And thank you so much for being here at the LQ Review, where we talk about all of the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. And until next time. We'll see you later. Every single day.